Okay, hi guys. Today I want to take a look at how you can create a ducking effect in Reaper using um, Reaper's own compressor and just a little bit of routing. So ducking is a, a way of lowering the volume of a background noise whenever the main noise you're trying to convey comes in. So it's especially useful for like radio radio ads and radio spots and can also be used or is also used extensively in uh, podcast introductions and things like that. So this is how I do it. I'm not sure if it's the best way, but in case you're looking for a way of doing it, this is how I do it. So on my first track, I have a voiceover, which is literally just me saying testing one, two, three. So test one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And then the second track, I have my background music, which I'm just using the, the old channel music I made years ago, the, a year ago maybe, that I don't really use anymore. Right, so together I have them on a pretty low volume because they're both pretty loud and I don't want any clipping. So together they sound like this. Test, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three. If you were trying to make the voice legible over the background music, you would have to turn the background music down. Test, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three. You know, which is fair enough, you could do it that way, but if you want that polished kind of radio style then this is the way to go. Um, this effectively lowers the volume of the background music, but only when the voiceover is making noise. So the way I do it is you go to your voiceover channel, go down to the routing options, and then you create a new send and you're sending it to track two. You want it to be pre-fader and you want to send your audio from one, two to three, four. This creates like a, an auxiliary channel. And then if you click the routing on your background sound, background music, you now see you have a receive from channel one, track one, and it's audio one, two, to three, four again. So that's the first part that just basically sends the audio in a non-audible format to the other channel. Then on track two, you click effects. And with this now, you want to be using the Rea comp the reaper compressor i've seen some people use the the rea gate the uh, noise gate built in but i found rea comp works better so that's this guy here and there's a few setting changes you have to make um you can leave most things pretty much the same, although ratio I had set to four before and it worked pretty well. And the main thing is this, the detector input. That needs to be set to auxiliary input L plus OR. So that means it's detecting the volume of this first track in order to see when to compress itself, the second track. And then the next thing you have to control is the threshold. It should be set pretty low, but you're going to have to kind of play with that. Test, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two. So you can already hear it working. It's kind of a bit too extreme though so we might just play with the threshold for a bit test one two three 
Testing. Testing. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. Testing. One, two. Or maybe if I change the attack a bit so it happens less quickly. Test. One, two. Oh, no, you wanted more quickly. Or, or no, sorry. I, I was going the wrong way there. If you increase the attack, it takes longer for it to kick in. Test. One, two, three. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. Testing. One, two, three. And maybe I can play with the ratio a bit. Test. One, two, three. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. Testing. One, two, three. Yeah, that sounds a bit more natural now. So you can hear it for yourself. When the test one, two, three voice comes in, the audio ducks down, or the, the music, I should say, ducks down lower than the voiceover. So it makes it a bit more audible, but without really changing the overall volume of the background music when the voice isn't playing. Test, one, two, three, testing. Testing, one, two, three. One, two, one, two. Testing, one, two, three. Test, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. One, two, one, two. Testing, one, two, three. Could maybe have a lower release there. Test, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. One, two, one. Which, yeah, basically you can just play around with the settings to make it sound the way you want it. And that way you can get this kind of a cool radio intro sound to your recording. So, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, etc, etc.